Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, really excited to be here. And uh, as Nick says, we're uh, we're here to talk about the sort of property side of the process now. So we're all about the property repair claims. Uh, straight in. Let's get into uh, let's get into detail. We'll show you some good stuff. Uh, some exciting things to show you around the platform. Um, no surprise. Things that you'll be familiar with in terms of the uh, challenges that the certainly the property repair space faces today. So lots of lots of sort of disparate ways that the information sort of goes uh, outside uh, lots of different platforms and the customer trying to sort of weave through that and effectively be feeling like the project management trying to grab bits of information, trying to align the story, uh, trying to get the supplier sort of uh, moving on their claim. So um, lo lots of complexity and we bring that, we take all that and bring all those disparate parties together into a seamless integrated system. So how do we do that? So our aim is to provide a oh <laughs> suddenly kicked in. Um, a claims collaboration platform where all parties involved in a property claim can collaborate, can share information, um, and can all be involved on a single view of the claim. So we're not talking about everybody having different views, different versions. Um, it's all a single data model um, and one single claim view. And we do that by enabling people to access the platform in the ways that mean or, or matter the most to them. So it might be for some of our supply chain partners or and ensure supply chain partners that they can transfer information simply via an API, whereas others might make use of all of our feature function and access via mobile apps, window apps, web apps, or use the data that comes off the back end. For the web app section, so today we're really going to focus on the policyholder view of the claim. Um, so we're going to talk you through how that looks, how that look feels for a policyholder. But ultimately, what we want to be able to achieve is allow a policyholder to see everybody involved in their property claim in one view, from one place, and enable them to collaborate with all parties involved in the claim without having to log into multiple portals and speak to different people in different ways. So should we get straight Absolutely. into it? Let's go into the good stuff. Okay. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to talk you through. Hopefully this will catch up in a second. Will it? Is the answer yes? There we go. There we go. And yeah. um, so, first of all, I'm going to talk you through the business view of a claim. So, what does an insurance company see? What do their supply chain partners see? So that it gives you some context when Lee starts talking you through the policyholder view of the claim. So this is just one access point that we have to, the, have to the data that we hold on a property claim. As I mentioned previously, what we try to do is give access in the way that's most appropriate for the business and the um, technological maturity that they might have. But this is um, our web page, a web app page access to the claims journey. We're starting on the timeline, so that's kind of as it says on the tin, um, a timeline of everything that has happened on the claim. And it'll be a mixture of system-generated um, timeline activity. So for example, somebody's added a photo and we log that in the timeline. Or it may be messaging that's occurred during the claim. So somebody's gone in, added a manu manual um, message for all parties on the claim or for specific parties, maybe, maybe they need to contact their building supplier. What we then have is a view of the assignments on a claim. So here we can show you um, every supplier or assignment that's occurred on a claim. So who's involved, what they're going to be doing on that claim, and where they are in that journey. So you can get a view of, has the job started? Have they completed it? Where are we on that journey? And it's not just a view for the insurance company. So all parties involved in that claim can have this view. So one of the problems that we hear a lot about from the supply chain that we work with is that they know what they're doing on the claim. But if it's a particularly complex claim and there's multiple suppliers what they tend to struggle with is well I can't start my job until they finish theirs and there's that lack of collaboration or communication between those parties what this does is it gives a single view of that information for everybody involved in the claim and they can be notified when any of those dates changes which means that they can be proactive in managing that with the policyholder as well and then finally, we have a documentation tab, um, which then houses everything else that relates to the claim. We do a lot of work in regards to um, building repair scoping, but we also do full um, media management here. So photos, videos, documentation, um, and we do data capture as well. So that's a real whistle stop tour um, of the business side of it. We have a huge amount of feature function, but like I said, we're just gonna keep that brief for today. Um, and I'm gonna flick over to Lee in one moment, when I've sent 
him his timeline entry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to imitate as if I was a policy, um, an insurance company and I'm asking them to take a photo. I'm going to use our quick list because I can't type quickly with one hand um, to show you what that might look like. But I'm asking him here, please take a photo of the damage and I'm going to notify the policy holder in that. So if I click add, what you'll see at the top is I've added a, a note saying, please take a photo of the damage. And then I'm going to hand over to Lee, who's going to show you how that look and feel then occurs with the policyholder. Fantastic. Thank you, Leah. Um, so here we are. I'm the policyholder. I think, as we've talked about, this is about the way that uh, those interactions happen and flow across the claim. So rather than a customer having to constantly go and look for things and find out what's happening next, our platform takes away, that, um, takes away that pain point for them, notifies them when they need to be notified, equally for other suppliers and uh, you know, the insurer, the claim handler. It's about that managed workflow. So, so I've now got a notification. Um, I come, come here and it you know, I've got the, the instruction here that's going to tell me to take, uh, take a photograph. So functionality also kind of sits there in, in, on, on the landing page for the customer. So whether it's photographs, as you can see down the, uh, the bottom, oh, in fact, uh, let the technology catch up. So the, uh, so the options for the, the customer, be it photographs, videos, documents, it's all seamless in terms of the ability to be able to take that information, either what's, uh, what's sort of stored on my device or, or indeed to, from, you know, in the instance of photographs, I can add live. So let's just, I'll take over here. And that's gone straight back in real time. And I think it's, it's the importance of the taking away some of those failed demands that we know about, typically sharing information between parties. It's real time. So that information, those prompts are now going back out to the parties that need to know about it, uh, and they're, they're able to start moving that claim along. Uh, we know that property repair can be complex, as Lee has touched on. Lots of disparate sort of moving parts. The challenges around the supply chain, I see some faces in the room today are sort of wrestling with those things. Um, so things do move, trying to get the right people, the materials, etc., on site. Um, but it's about the ability to keep the customer informed about how those changes. So every, everybody's on the same page. Everybody's kind of working together and collaboratively. As you can see there, as, a, as the customer, I know what's happening next in terms of where, where my, uh, you know, my, uh, the next activity is coming. So the contractor's on site. I can see when he's due to finish. I can dip in and look a little bit closer in terms of the, the claims process. So we've got lots of different uh, you know, moving parts on the claim, multiple suppliers, and that can happen on more complex things. I can start to drill down and say, well, okay, what's, what's, what's that activity? Who's dealing with those things for me? I'm informed, I'm in control, I know uh, who, who, where, where that activity is happening and who, who's responsible for those things. And of course I've got the timeline as, as we've touched on for, for those kind of interactions where I need to go and ask a question. Hey, ABCD Builders, can you tell me about my, uh, you know, my wallpaper? Is it, is it due in stock? Yeah, all that good stuff. So, so lot, lots of functionality there, for, as I say, about how that information sort of parceled up and shared between customer, claims handler and supplier. I can see Lee wants me to be able to tell, I'm going to move on quickly. Um, but of course, this, this all predicates the ability for the customer to give in the moment feedback of those sort of kind of key milestones. So it takes away the kind of uh, disparate, um, you know, one, one, one sort of size fits all questionnaire at the end that says, how do, you, how do you rate your experience? There are things that may have gone well, uh, you know, throughout the claim, but there, there, there may be little points, uh, at, at, you know, certain key milestones where supplier interactions or activity where I need to give some uh, feedback. So here, I've got, I've got the option to give a star rating, I can add some text, and all that gets pushed straight back to the, to the claims handler. And the point there is that you've got that richness of detail to really start to understand how the process works today, where those pin, pin, you know, pain points are or pinch points are in the, uh, the supply chain interactions. So it's about using that data to sort of collaborate and change and shape the, the workflows uh, to, to drive an ever better continuous improvement for the customer. Leah, I'm going to kind of yeah. hand back to you. We're going to see the Great. magic in terms of it coming back into the Claims Connect platform. Yeah, so just a couple of key things then as well around links. So it's, um, it's white labelled, which means that um, the branding of the originator company can be fully immersive for the policyholders. So they're not left confused about leaving one system and entering another and it not being that seamless branding journey for them. So it's fully able to be white labelled. It's also responsive web, which means that no matter what device that they access it from, it, it renders 
live uh, beautifully and, and they, can, they can use all of the feature functions within it as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back into the uh, Claims Connect, which as I mentioned to you is kind of our business view of the claim, and just um, show you how that, that now looks now that Lee's carried out some actions on there. Um, so you've got in the documentation tab now, you can see we've got some insured photos and there's the photos that Lee's, Lee's just taken for us. Um, and we've also got the feedback that he's left on the, on the um, about the supplier just here. Um, and the important thing about um, the feedback, like Lee mentioned, is all of that data is um, retrievable from the software. So that can, it's data that can be pulled out. Um, and it means that you're able to really interrogate and understand the performance of your supply chain. And also where in the claim journey things are going wrong. Often if you get feedback at the end of a claim journey, you're left trying to pick out exactly where it is in the process that a customer has become dissatisfied. Um, being able to do it in real time at the points that matter to them means that you can jump on it and make sure that those um, things are rectified. Um, so what's next for us, Lee? What do you think? Well, yeah, the, the, the future is, is boundless for us, but uh, in terms of uh, where we go next here, I think for me this, is, this kind of sets the, you know, sets the stall out in terms of how the process feels today for, for the customer. So you've got that full transparency about that ease of process. So really about that uh, ability to have confidence of opening up the next step, as you can see here, for a customer to be able to do things like self-serve, putting more thing, you know, more interactions in, into the platform for the customer, uh, absolutely ready to go now. It's, um, it's it's there to be used. Yeah, and in the short term, I mean, we've made incremental changes to Link over time. So it's been in market now for a while. We've had between 100 and 200,000 policyholders invited to use the platform. So, you know, this isn't conceptual for us. We understand it. But over that time, we've obviously made the changes to, to improve it. But we're going through a process at the minute to do a huge relaunch of that to understand the things that add value directly to the policyholder, enable them to kind of eliminate the failure demand in the process for them. Um, so we're doing a full, what we're calling Link 2.0, which is a, a redo of all of the look and the feel, because technology moves so quickly, and we understand that. You know, we don't want policyholders interacting with this and thinking, I'm accessing a business website, I'm a policyholder, I want something that I'm going to enjoy using and that's simple for me to use. Um, so that's happening in the short term, which will hopefully enable us to, uh, well, will enable enable us um, to then enter more into the policyholders realm around the, the world of self-service for property claims. Absolutely. And, that, and I think that's it. Is that so it? Yeah. Short and sweet, there's some <laughs> functionality in there, so please do come and find us on the floor afterwards. Lots of things that we can talk to you about today in terms of uh, the tools, uh, so the functionality, the data, all good stuff, ready, ready to go. Thank you. Yep, thank you.